features of all the colors and shapes that you saw associated with the MIDI notes to your advantage. So you can do a lot of powerful things to your MIDI notes using all those shapes and colors. Um, anybody here is an Ableton Live user? I'm sure there's many. Yes, excellent. One guy, awesome. Um, no problem. Uh, but you guys, I'm sure, are familiar with uh, piano roll editors and whatnot. So uh, just like Dave answered earlier, and uh, Derek asked, Liquid Rhythm is a standalone, but it also works as a VST, an audio unit in our test. Um, but again, just as an elaboration, we've also built a really interesting bridge into Ableton Live that lets us dump MIDI notes directly into a piano roll editor from our software. So it's really, really quick, really powerful. Uh, it can also be used in a live setting. So normally when you're using Ableton Live, you're performing live by moving around prearranged uh, clips. But using Liquid Rhythm, you can compose live. You can compose drum patterns really quickly and on the fly. Uh, so it's a lot of fun to use. So I'm just gonna have that in the background here, just kind of like, uh, just to show off the, the technology because it's really cool. It's a lot of fun to play with. Uh, but this is Liquid Rhythm right here. So let's get started. Uh, the first thing I'm gonna show you guys is this entire column over here. This panel, which we call the Beat Builder, is what we're going to use to build the beat really quickly. Okay, so this is a list of you can think of this as a list of preset MIDI patterns that'll fit in one bar of music. So if I select, say, uh, my kick drum here, and then I choose, uh, let's say, this pattern here, as soon as I click it, I'm going to get these four notes in my bar right here. And watch when I click it. Watch what's going to happen to my piano roll editor in Ableton Live as well. I'm going to pop that in there as soon as I do. I got the four on the floor notes in my piano roll. Uh, if I don't move up to my snares, I'm going to go click on my snare track here, which is here, and then I'll choose another pattern from my list over there. As soon as I click it, it's going to appear here and then here. So there it is. And then I can hit play. So I've got my pattern going. I'll choose uh, my hi-hats. Do the same thing. Choose another pattern. I've got my hi-hats going. I'll choose a uh, tom and I'll put in a very, very basic fill at the end of this loop. Right. And you can see it's all here. If I want to go back to make some edits in Ableton Live, I can select some notes and I can move around like this. And when I come back to Liquid Rhythm, there's the changes that I made. So it's just really quickly mirroring between both applications. So again, this is really powerful and it's a lot of fun to play with because it gets your ideas, if, especially if you're used to the Ableton Live workflow, you can get your stuff, your ideas out of your head and into the software really quickly. So one other thing I want to point out here is that when I select a bar in my kick drum track, You'll notice that I have a series of patterns, right? And these are, again, these are just sort of preset MIDI patterns. But if I select a, a pattern, or if I select a bar in my snare drum track, this is my snare, you'll notice that the, the list of patterns, it changes. So what's happening is that <coughs> Liquid Rhythm has a, it has a database of rhythm patterns that make sense for particular instrument categories. So if I select hi-hats, I'll get a different list of patterns. Hopefully these are patterns that make sense for hi-hat instruments. If I select ton drums, yeah, go ahead. No, I was just 